horrible today. Yellowstone Super Volcano. The eruption really destroyed the Earth. The Yellowstone caldera, one of the world's largest active volcanic systems, is a sleeping giant that will wreak havoc when it awakens from its slumber. The good news is that the supervolcano is not too late to erupt, despite what you may have read online. The bad news is that volcanic activity is very difficult to predict and eruptions do not occur on a predictable schedule. The Yellowstone caldera is a 70 by 45 kilometers, 43 by 28 miles, crater located in northwestern Wyoming, containing hot springs, geyser basins, and other signs of hydrothermal activity. Beneath this vast caldera are two large magma chambers that threaten to explode, spewing lava and ash throughout the surrounding area. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, Yellowstone has experienced three large explosive volcanic eruptions over the past 2.1 million years. One occurred 2.08 million years ago, another 1.38 million years ago, and the last occurred 631,000 years ago. Based on these three events, Yellowstone has a recurrence interval of about 600,000 to 800,000 years, with an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. Since the last major eruption occurred 631,000 years ago, you can conclude that the Yellowstone supervolcano will erupt again. However, this is misleading. Volcanoes do not operate according to a regular schedule such as working hours. Additionally, many scientists think that the supervolcano in Yellowstone does not have the power needed to produce another powerful eruption. The rhyolite magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is only 5 to 15 percent fluid, i.e. melted and viscous, so there may not be enough magma beneath the caldera to trigger an eruption. It is also possible that Yellowstone had little activity without destroying North America and beyond. About 70,000 years ago, a rhyolitic lava flow erupted from a supervolcano. While this changed the geology of Yellowstone National Park to the southwest, it didn't have much of a negative impact on life on the planet. Even so, anything is possible. The surrounding geological layers could collapse or the volcanic chamber could receive an injection of new magma, thus reviving the beasts from below. If a major eruption occurred today in Yellowstone, the impact would be felt around the world. Much of Montana, Idaho and Wyoming would be covered in pyroclastic flows of hot gas and volcanic material. Estimates vary, but some estimate it could kill up to 90,000 people in an instant. In three previous major disasters, volcanic ash covered much of western North America. Within a few hundred kilometers of Yellowstone, this layer of ash was likely a foot deep. The latest models show that an area of about 80 kilometers, 50 miles, around the hole will be covered in up to 3 meters, about 10 feet, of ash in just a few days. Relatively close locations such as Salt Lake City would be buried under ash up to 1 meter, 3.3 feet, deep. In fact, much of the continental U.S., from Florida to New England, will also be hit by a small amount of dust from volcanic debris. One of the biggest problems is the ash that is carried across the planet and into the stratosphere, blocking sunlight. Temperatures will drop and sunlight levels will decrease, leading to ecosystem collapse, food shortages and famine. This probably happened around 74,000 years ago when a large, super eruption occurred at the volcano that is now on Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia.
Some researchers believe that the eruption was so powerful that it reduced the human population to less than 10,000, creating a genetic bottleneck in what is known as the Toba disaster theory. There are also those who argue that the impact on the human population is not as severe, but it is clear that super eruptions have a major impact on the planet. In today's world, home to more than 8 billion people, the scale of human suffering would be even greater if a supervolcano erupted. Fortunately, the chances of this bad luck happening tomorrow are very small, but by no means zero.